NASA scientists who repaired a spacecraft from 15 billion miles away. The Voyager 1, the legendary spacecraft launched in 1977, has defied every conceivable limit of human ingenuity. Hurtling through the cold, silent void of interstellar space for nearly five decades, it has once again stunned scientists and space enthusiasts alike by making an unimaginable new encounter. A discovery that was not only unforeseen, but challenges existing theories about what lies beyond our solar system. This latest interaction has unfolded so far from Earth that signals sent back take nearly 22 hours to arrive, traveling across more than 15 billion miles of empty blackness. And yet, in that remote distance, Voyager 1 has found something. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. What makes this encounter astonishing is not just its location, but what it represents. The first detection of a highly complex and structured interstellar phenomenon that appears to be in dynamic motion. Not just a region of dust or radiation, but something moving, reacting, and emitting patterns that Voyager's instruments were barely calibrated to interpret. For years, scientists had anticipated a quiet journey into the interstellar medium. They expected fluctuations in cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and perhaps a shift in particle density. But this, a region humming with unanticipated energy and magnetic complexity, was beyond prediction. As Voyager 1 approached this area, subtle changes in its magnetometer and plasma wave data began to signal that something unusual was ahead. The steady rhythm of interstellar particles changed, forming sharp gradients and pulses. Voyager's cosmic ray subsystem, usually accustomed to a predictable increase in background radiation outside the heliosphere, suddenly began detecting a kind of patterned fluctuation as if something large and organized were shaping the flow of charged particles. These weren't mere anomalies, they were signatures of structure. Massive, invisible structures composed not of matter, but of magnetism and wave patterns, stretching over light years of space. For decades, interstellar space had been considered relatively featureless. Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause in 2012, entering what many thought would be a long, quiet drift through a sea of sparse hydrogen atoms and cosmic rays. But what it's now moving through is far from featureless. The readings suggest a complex plasma environment, possibly shaped by ancient supernova remnants or interstellar magnetic fields twisted into unknown geometries. Even more mysterious is that this structure seems to interact with Voyager 1 itself. The spacecraft is passive, unpowered in any active propulsion sense, and yet as it entered this region, certain instruments began showing feedback patterns, as if responding to an external influence or traversing a resonating field. The implications of this are vast. For one, it alters the understanding of how space beyond the heliopause is structured. If Voyager 1 has found just one of these interstellar corridors or magnetized rivers, then it's likely not alone. Our galaxy may be threaded with such regions, shaped over eons by forces still not fully understood. These could act as channels for particle acceleration, conduits for cosmic radiation, or even natural boundaries between interstellar domains. The discovery suggests that space is not just a vacuum sprinkled with stars, but a living, evolving medium, textured with patterns that defy conventional astrophysical models. Furthermore, the data coming back implies that these regions may carry their own local environments, almost like microcosmic weather systems in the galaxy. They might have turbulence, internal magnetic storms, or zones of relative calm. Voyager 1's instruments recorded a sudden drop in cosmic ray activity followed by a spike, indicating it had passed through what can only be described as a magnetic bubble, a zone where external radiation was shielded or refracted. This kind of region has never been observed before in situ. Theorists had models of magnetic reconnection events and the twisted relics of exploded stars, but nothing resembling this exact phenomenon. What's even more captivating is the suggestion that Voyager the 1st of May have passed through more than one of these zones in quick succession. The implication here is that the outer interstellar medium is layered or partitioned in some way. Perhaps like geological strata on Earth, space has its own invisible layers, remnants of ancient galactic activity that are only now revealing themselves through direct contact with a probe built nearly half a century ago. These zones could hold vital clues about the life cycles of stars, the migration of interstellar clouds, or even the long-term dynamics of our Milky Way galaxy. 
The instruments aboard Voyager 1, though aging, continued to provide a priceless stream of data. These new findings came not from high-resolution cameras or high-bandwidth data streams, but from decades-old sensors reading magnetic fields, plasma density, and particle flux. It's almost poetic that the technology once thought outdated is now responsible for peering into the galaxy's ancient structures. The spacecraft, limited in energy and memory, is still managing to gather enough precision to reveal the intricate fingerprint of this bizarre new environment. One of the most unexpected aspects of the encounter has been the presence of highly directional plasma waves. These waves are not simply ambient background noise. They appear to propagate along specific vectors, suggesting that they may originate from distant, localized sources. Scientists are now speculating whether these could be faint echoes from supernova or other massive galactic events whose shock waves have taken thousands of years to reach this point in space. The fact that Voyager 1 can detect these ripples indicates that the interstellar medium is more like an ocean than a vacuum, one that can carry echoes of ancient violence across inconceivable distances. The patterns also seem to oscillate at regular intervals, hinting at a possible resonance effect. It's as though Voyager has moved into a part of space where ambient fields and waves are trapped, bouncing back and forth across some boundary, like sound in a vast, invisible chamber. Such a discovery reshapes how scientists view the large-scale structure of the galaxy. There may be rooms in space, zones where energy and matter behave according to local rules set by the orientation and intensity of magnetic fields. If this is confirmed, it could open a new branch of astrophysics entirely, focused on the topology and dynamics of interstellar magnetic domains. At the same time, this discovery invites questions that no current spacecraft is equipped to answer. Voyager 1 is solitary, with no backup in its immediate region. There are no follow-up missions scheduled to explore interstellar space at such distances anytime soon. That means these revelations may remain singular events, snapshots of alien conditions that we may not be able to revisit for decades if not longer. Yet even from a single viewpoint, the data paints a picture that is vivid and unnerving. The edge of our solar system does not mark the beginning of uniform nothingness, but the threshold to something complex, dynamic, and still largely unknown. Another key observation involves the interaction of charged particles in this strange environment. Unlike the well-understood solar wind and its effects, these interstellar particles seem to be caught in spirals, as though twisted by immense unseen vortices. The flow is not random, it's structured, as if shaped by guiding hands. These patterns may be telling the story of how galaxies recycle matter and energy across billions of years. The particles Voyager 1 is now detecting could be older than our Sun. Their trajectories warped over eons, finally drifting into the reach of a man-made probe from a blue planet billions of miles away. And there's the question of what else might be lurking in these interstellar depths. If fields and waves can form such elaborate structures, what other secrets might they conceal? Could these regions act as attractors for interstellar dust, icy bodies, or even rogue planets? There's a possibility, however remote, that Voyager 1 is passing through a nursery of matter, not one that births stars, but one that accumulates and preserves the remnants of cosmic history. These zones might hold the ingredients of future solar systems, drifting until they are gathered by gravity into something new. Equally intriguing is how this discovery reflects back on Earth itself. The more that's learned about the interstellar medium, the more apparent it becomes that our solar system is embedded in a much larger, richer, and more volatile environment than previously understood. The boundary that separates us from interstellar space, once thought to be a clear-cut border, is now blurred by magnetic flux, energy gradients, and complex structures. Earth, protected by its magnetic field and cocooned by the solar wind, exists in a kind of bubble within a greater sea whose tides and storms we are only beginning to comprehend. The idea that there are dynamic active zones outside our solar system opens up possibilities not just for science, but for the philosophy of exploration itself. Voyager 1 in its silent journey has revealed that the space between stars is not an empty bridge, but a place in its own right, filled with history, structure, and energy. It is no longer just the void, it is terrain, uncharted and vibrant, waiting to be explored. This moment, this encounter, 
reaffirms the decision to send Voyager 1 in the first place. It validates decades of work, of ambition, of hope that something would be out there, something no one could yet imagine. The discovery proves that the greatest mysteries of the cosmos aren't always in the dazzling light of distant galaxies or the fiery hearts of stars. Sometimes, they lie in the cold silence between, in the unseen currents that flow across the dark, in the ancient vibrations that ripple through magnetic rivers, in the quiet place where a small probe from Earth just made contact with the unimaginable. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's new encounter after years in space? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.